experts have on institutionalization of counseling service to address societal changes. Ogun State Independent Electoral Commission amends local, gov local government electoral guidelines reduce age limit. Good evening and welcome to NTA Jabu, the news at 7. My name is Anthony Gandonu. Now the news in details. A guidance counseling, sorry, a guidance psychologist wants counseling services to be institutionalized at all levels of education and non-school settings to effectively address the growing needs for proper guidance therapy for the citizens. This recommendation is coming on the heels of the 26th inaugural lecture of the Taisho Lahari University of Education in Jebode, Ogun State. The news in details now. Titled From Adversity to Strength, Psychological Resilience for Optional Wellbeing, Professor Ewumi Abose de Morenike, while speaking, identified resilience as a fundamental quality that empowers individuals to face life's challenges with friends, adaptability, and a positive mindset. The inaugural lecture, the fifth in the Department of Counseling, Psychology and Educational Foundation, the tenth of the College of Specialized and Professional Education, and the twenty-sixth of the university, according to Professor Morenike, is aimed at profiling solutions to inadequate counseling psychologists and known patronage of the available few. People are going through a lot of stress in the country, the socioeconomic hardship in the country. People are going through one stress or the other. We will see people dying prematurely. We see so many people going into crimes they are not supposed to go into. Counseling can be used to assist individuals to be more resilient about stresses of life and they can surmount it and become you know, strengthened and overcome life issues. Appreciating guests for the privilege, Professor Eumi Morenike dedicated the lecture to her 85-year-old mother, all mothers and women folk striving against all odds for former education and optional well-being. Summarizing the lecture, the institution's vice chancellor, Professor Oluwole Banjo, while exploring the essentiality of the seven C's of resilience, which are competence, confidence, connection, character, contribution, coping, and control says counseling services will help individuals to weather the storms of life. Through counseling, individuals gain insight into their emotions, behaviors, and patterns, empowering them to make positive change in their lives. Counselors often help clients develop coping mechanisms and problem-solving skills to address challenges manage stress, and navigate difficult situations more effectively. The lecture, according to stakeholders, came at the right time, going by the global challenges. To be resilient in every area of my life, in whatever it is I do, should always be in the best and be resilient. Need for us to empower a girl child. The essence that the fact that you are a lady, the fact that you are a daughter, that doesn't mean that you cannot reach the peak of your career. The only thing you need is to be to be resilient. Instead of one to be dispersed, one is advised to consult the professionals that are psychologists, counseling psychologists, that we actually revive someone and be able to come back to life. And at the end of the day, one will reach the goal and achieve the objectives. They believed if recommendations are implemented to the letter, it will reduce the ills of the society as well improve the well-being of individuals. In Ijebode, Anthony Gandonu. NCA News. Stakeholders in Ogun State Power Sector Bill have commended the State Governor Dakbo Abiodun and the House of Assembly for putting in place legislation that will address the long time energy challenge confronting residents, business operators, and investors in Ogun State. This was at a public hearing on the bill for a law to improve electricity generation, transmission, and distribution establish an electricity market and key power sector bodies and other relevant matters in Abeokuta, Ogun State. Yemi Dalemo completes the story. 
Stakeholders in their contributions and impulse commended Ogun State Governor Dapo Abiodun for bringing up the executive bill and the House of Assembly for thorough legislative duties on the bill and resolved to accord the bill the priority it deserves. To them, the legislative process will help in shaping the future of the state power sector, noting that the engineers and technicians with background in power sector should be given major roles, while also encouraging public-private partnership to guarantee the success and sustainability of the state power sector law when operational. Our hope is that shall have at least 15 years' experience in power sector law in any relevant engineering profession. Because we are talking about uh, engineering uh, activities there. In any relevant engineering profession, I was the current register. In getting the commission board, in getting the commissioners for the commission, we ensure that technical people are well represented. I also want to support this lobby house to ensure that we have enough protection. For the, consumers. the speaker, Oluda Isi Elemide, who lamented the adverse effects of epileptic power supply on social economic development of the country, says the determination of the present administration in Ogun State to create efficient and effective electricity market for the state is commendable and saluted the initiative of the National Assembly for the decentralizing electricity generation and related matters in the country. The House, in line with its legislative practice and procedure, organized this forum to provide an avenue for stakeholders to participate in an elaborate discussion on the proposed bill and make recommendations for further consideration by the appropriate House committee towards ensuring that the bill has necessary impetus and legislative credence. This is therefore the need for us all legislators to perform our duties as required by law to accelerate the passage of this laudable bill proposed by the present administration to address the menace of electric power supply in the state. Lawmakers were calling on the stakeholders to forward their memorandum to the state's House of Assembly for consideration promised accelerated hearing on the bill. In Abelkuta, Jemi Dalemo, NTN News. The Ogun State Independent Electoral Commission, OGCEC, has commended, has amended the age limit qualification for candidates in the forthcoming local government elections, reducing the minimum age from 30 to 25. This amendment follows a review of the law governing the conduct of local government elections, bringing the guidelines in line with Section 74 and 106 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended, which stipulates that a candidate is qualified for election if he or she has attained the age of 25 years. In a statement signed by the Chairman of Ogun State Independent Electoral Commission, Ogisi Babatunde Oshimbodu today, has it that due to these adjustments, Ogisi has extended the deadline for each party's primaries by one week. The primaries initially set to end on Monday, September 9, will now run until Monday, September 16, 2024. The collection of personal data from CF001 and CF002 by each political party has also been extended to Friday, September 20, 2024. Political parties that have already conducted their primaries may collect the necessary forms for each of their candidates starting from Tuesday, September 10, 2024, with submissions accepted between Monday, September 16, and Friday, September 20, 2024. Uh, initially, additionally, a meeting with all political parties has been scheduled for Monday, September 9, 2024, at the Commission's headquarters, Okemoson Abeokuta, by 12 in the noon. All other schedules in the previous published election timetable remain unchanged, including the chairmanship and councillorship elections for scheduled to hold on November 16 
2024. The Interparty Advisory Council, IPAC, says there is no substitute for free, fair, and credible elections as the sources of the September 24th and November 16, 2024 governorship polls in Edo and Ondo states will go a long way with the restoring, with the restoring in restoring process and representation of good governance in Nigeria. This was at the Council's General Assembly meeting ahead of the upcoming off-session elections. Timothy Yusuf reports. What we do is the Interparty Advisory Council, IPAC, at this meeting deliberated on the upcoming Eudo and Undo states' governorship elections. Chairman of the Council, Yusuf Maman Dantale, disclosed that members will be in Edo and Undo states to enlighten the stakeholders to ensure peaceful elections. We are trying to see what we can do. We are doing it and we will continue to do what we can to deepen democracy to have all on board, specifically the youth of Nigeria. He expressed IPAC's commitment to sanitizing the democratic process for successful elections and political stability emphasizing that Nigerians want to see an impressive turnout in the September and November 2024 Edo and Undo states governorship elections. Timothy Yusuf, NTA News. Prioritizing competence for effective leadership is key to sustaining vision and values. Guests on Good Morning Nigeria are emphatic that mentoring young people for proactive leadership provides robust pe people-oriented development. Lydia Sansin reports. Gaston, good morning, Nigeria. I am fighting that mentoring young people and equipping them to be better leaders must include sharing experiences, including skills and challenges, to mitigate the notion that leadership is a smooth ride. If you're a leader and you're not making any impact, you're just taking care of yourself. Therefore, if you must lead, determine what you need to do. You say, oh, service delivery. He connects it. If you're a leader, you're not paying attention to even your physical appearance. You become a wrong role model for the aesthetic sense of the younger generation. In the last three years, the Legislative Mentorship Initiative, a pet project of the former Speaker, House of Representatives, Femi Badabia Mila, now Chief of Staff to President Bola Tinumbu has trained dedicated young professionals spearheading value evaluation and excellence in public service. These, they acknowledge, is strategic to having leaders that will change the status quo towards impactful service. We need to also look at citizens demanding the right kind of leaders. If you have a scenario whereby we've trained, we've equipped, we've enabled these young people with the ethics and the values to lead and lead well, and then citizens decide that they want to go for stomach infrastructure, then that will be a problem. So I think if anything at all, it will train the leaders, but then we also have to ensure that the younger people themselves, um, sorry, the citizens themselves are demanding that kind of leadership. Already, these all-inclusive, resilient, and dogged young people are deploying the training to be employers, while others are displaying capacity, making them stand out. But we are equipping them, we are informing them to be even better. The first thing is that um, all of them have demonstrable, a demonstrable track record. And so what we're trying to do is that we're trying to give them the tools to succeed in governance allow them to understand how the system of governance works because something that we realized before is that in as much as people are amazing people are smart people are brilliant especially young people some of them don't know exactly how the machinery of government works the guests urge young people to continuously develop capacity for service to phase out people in office only to amass wealth in abuja lydia samson nta news the news continue after this time out. Please stay tuned. Are domino obalade agba odo atomode jaki jado ati gbede NTA jebu ode Are domino obalade 
Agba Odo, Atomode, Jake Jado, Atikede, NTA, Ijebu Ode, your heritage station, we are the light of nation, and the light of generation, NTA, Ijebu Ode, your heritage station, we are the light of nation, and the light of generation, NTA, Ijebu Ode. You are welcome back now to Sports Update. Onye Yechimak has now won Nigeria's first gold medal at the 2024 Paris Paralympic, which with a lift of 150 kilograms to set a new world record in this 61 kilogram para power lift Friday afternoon. Olumide Eguntola brings us details of other trending stories in the world of a store. Reports from the Uyo camp of the Super Eagles indicate that the three time African champions are set to neutralize the tactics of the Ghanaian Royal Tutor Benin Republic in Saturday's 2025 AFCON qualifier. The players' watch world is united with stand as they take instructions from coach Augustin Ego, even led technical crew. Still on football, Nigeria's Falconet will on Saturday attempt to fly over Venezuela into the knockout stages of the ongoing FIFA Under 20 World Cup in Colombia in the team's last group game. The Nigerian guests are second on the table with three points, behind the table toppers Germany, who have six points. A win for the Falconet will ensure smooth berth in the second round of the tournament. And from the ongoing Paris Paralympic Games, China maintains its lead on the medals table with 134 medals, including 72 golds. Great Britain is second with 35 gold medals, while Team USA is third with 27 gold medals. Nigeria will on Saturday have another opportunity to increase the number of medals won when Africa and Nigeria's sole potential medalist in table tennis, Issa Ogunkule, takes on world number two in men's class four semi-final match. Away from the Paris Paralympic Games, first-time Grand Slam finalist America's Jessica Pigula will take on number two Arayna Sablenka in Saturday's title match. Of the 2024 U.S. Open Tennis Championship, number six Jessica defeated Carolina Muchova 1-6, 6-4, in the semi-final while Sablenka overpowered Ima Navarro of the United States. With Sports update, Olumide Eguntola, NT News. Let's take a look at the recap of the stories. Experts have on institutionalization of counseling services to address societal challenges. We also brought to you that Ogun State Independent Electoral Commission, OGCEC, amends local government electoral guidelines reduce age limit of contestants. Till we meet next week, good night.